And so we have McDougal says something about sugar or refined sugars, etc. Vegan Cheetah was on the board of directors. <laughs> Vegan Cheetah on the board of directors. And basically said that, asked McDougal, what about you know, the rice sugar, sort of things like that. And McDougal danced around the question. Now, rate McDougal, there's not a single person on the internet who's promoted McDougal more on social media than I have in the last five years, six years. Since 2010, you've seen drmcdougal.com in one of my, end of my videos ending credits. So I've promoted McDougal more than anyone I know online. Uh, my channel's had like 150 million views. So I'm not a hater of McDougal. I like, like his work. I, don't, I disagree with him on the sugar thing. And he contradicts himself. So this is not a bashing McDougal. This is just open criticism, you know. He fucking promotes the rice diet, the sugar diet, the Walter Kempner diet. Kempner is the person who taught McDougal how it is. And I read that back in 2001 in the Food Revolution. I'd go to McDougal and I'd look up stuff on, online, etc. So McDougal is a trailblazer, but he learned from Kempner. And Kempner had the low protein, low fat, high carb, rice, sugar, fruit, and fruit juice. And McDougal promotes that. He, he reckons that's the fucking best thing for type 2 diabetes, kidney disease, heart disease. Ask him. But then we do, and then. But he didn't answer the question that Vegan Cheetah said, did he? He didn't answer the question, he danced around it. Why? John, why the fuck didn't you answer the question? The sugar, the rice, the fruit. What you promote is what I promote. But you danced around oh, I don't understand. ...thing for uh, the consumer and scientists and medical doctors to get straightened out. And it should have been straightened out in the 1920s when a fellow by the name of Percival Hemsworth published his basic research, and it was all published by 1940 in the British Medical Journal, and it's just no question about it. Fat, we're talking about pig fat, cow fat, olive fat, paralyzes insulin, increases insulin needs, carbohydrate, including pure white sugar, increases the sensitivity to insulin. It was published by Brunzel from the University of Washington in the New England Journal of Medicine in I think 78, Brunzel's his name. He took uh, type two diabetics, he made a synthetic diet, 45% <clears throat> sugar, and then double, white sugar, multi-dextrose, plain table sugar, doubled it to 85% white sugar. Every aspect of the diabetes improved. Walter Kempner, back in the uh, 40s and 50s, published his results on treating type two diabetics with rice, table sugar, fruit, and juice. And Kempner knew back in the 50s that sugar makes insulin work better and cures diabetics. But you see, we've got it entirely backwards these days, thinking sugar causes diabetes. You know, it's just, it's so backward and bizarre, nobody stands a chance. So we gotta get this one simple fact down that has been established, even in diabetes care two years ago, they took type one diabetics, they dramatically inc increased their white sugar intake and decreased the insulin needs of type one diabetics. You know, it's always been the same, but everybody knows different. Don't eat potatoes, turns to sugar, makes you fat, gives you diabetes. It's exactly the opposite in terms of ultimate disease outcome. If we look at McDougal's little rice soups, the little noodle soups, I love those things. Well, what are they made from? They're made from refined carbohydrate. What's in a can of Sprite? Refined carbohydrate. I went to the supermarket before to buy some McDougal soups, but the supermarket went didn't have them. They normally do, but I've been away in Australia for the last six months. I buy a little packet of McDougal soups. I love them. They're really tasty. What are they? Refined fucking carbohydrate. Fruit juice, refined carbohydrate. White rice, refined carbohydrate. McDougal's soup in a bowl. Cup of soup, refined carbohydrate. Sprite, refined fucking carbohydrate. Calories 100% in white rice. Well, not 100%, not but mostly coming from refined carbohydrate. Sprite, refined carbohydrate. McDougal soups, noodles, refined fucking carbohydrate. It's white flour, flour from the whole food into a refined fucking product. Sprite, refined product. McDougal soup, Sprite, it's a refined fucking product. Where's the vitamins and minerals in a fucking McDougal soup? There's fucking one surprise, there's fucking both of them. They're both refined calories, man. And they both motherfucking get you emaciated looking. Lean, motherfuckers, lean. What the fuck is up with people bagging on Sprite? None of them are fucking as lean as me. Look at McDougal, he's a fucking lean motherfucker too. You give me any motherfucker, I will lean them the fuck out with Sprite white rice sugar. 
the fucking rice diet, raw till four, etc., etc. Carve the fuck up, McDougal program, whatever you fucking call it. McDougal sells refined sugars. But he did this is for refined sugars when he's on stage because people can't fucking get around it. So McDougal uh, contradicts himself because he knows if he's totally honest about the rice sugar diet, which he is on his fucking website, which he is in his lot of his books, people just lose the message because everyone has anti-refined carbohydrate. But McDougal fucking sells refined fucking carbohydrate in the flour in terms of the noodles. Okay. End of story. McDougal promotes refined carbohydrate, the rice diet. He fucking sells refined carbohydrate. I don't sell any refined carbohydrate. Maybe one duck can do a yeah, little doing on a fucking noodle soup. And it'll fucking come with a bonus can of fucking Sprite without the carbonic acid. Leave your comments down below. McDougal, do a video about it. The rice diet. You did it on fucking 2015. Reversing type 2 diabetes 100% with sugar, white rice. Fruit and fruit fucking juice. Explain. You can see how late I am. Follow McDougal's advice. I've been following it for 15 years. I've been vegan, high carb vegan since April 2001. McDougal was the first sort of medical doctor that I read back in 2001 when I read John Robbins' book. I've been following that advice. Look how lean I've gotten. You can see shadows in my fucking cheeks. You follow me on Strava, see how little I've been training lately. I have to cut my training down. I get too lean on this lifestyle. It's fruits, it's sugar, it's starch, it's refined carbohydrates. All the things that Dr. McDougall sells and tells. He teaches and preaches whole foods and refined carbohydrates. The rice, the sugar, the corn, the potatoes, the pasta, the fruits, the mangoes. All right, the rice diet, the Kempner diet, the starch solution, McDougal plan. McDougal's plan for maximum weight loss should involve cycling. Because then it would be McDougal's plan for extreme motherfucking weight loss. And that's what Raw Till 4, when I came up with that is. It's the fruit for breakfast. This is a Fit for Life Harvey Diamond book I read back in 2001 as well. Where fruit for breakfast, fruit for lunch, it's feel lighter, it cleans you out. I can't eat starch for breakfast, it's a bit too heavy. Yeah? If you works for you, it's good. That's awesome. It's vegan, it's high carb. You can still work like a motherfucker doing that. But I prefer raw to four. What is raw to four? It's fruit for breakfast, fruit for lunch, and it's cycling motherfuckers. It incorporates exercise and activity, getting it motherfucking done. Carbon the fuck up. Not being afraid of hard work. Riding your bike with the carbs, and that is the best way to get the fucking emaciated Christian Bale, the machinist look in rapid time. So if you're looking for that look, it's a good look. If you want it. I don't know if people say it's a good look, but it's not a good look. You look like a freaking machinist. Then take on, get out on some D-Bowl and some Anabar and some Winstroll and get swole as a motherfucker. Leave your comments down below. McDougal got some great advice. Contradicts himself massively, as you see in his books, as you see in his products. Bottom line, McDougal sells refined sugar. End of story. And just one thing. Nobody, motherfucking nobody, just eats whole foods. Smoothies, Dr. McDougal noodles, pasta, pizza. Pizza's not a motherfucking whole food. Rice ain't a whole food. As soon as you cook something, you take out the enzymes, you take out certain nutrients, it's no longer whole. A whole food is a motherfucking banana. A whole food's a motherfucking peach or an apple. If you're into whole foods, you're instantly a raw foodist. But doesn't do any juice or smoothies. And that's, that's what we would do in nature. But it's totally unsustainable because to get high Brix value fruits is fucking impossible. Bill Gates couldn't even get high Brix value fruits every single time. Or maybe he could. Maybe he could. It's going to cost you a million bucks a year. And you'd have to like have select growers who knew what the fuck a high Brix value fruit tastes like. And then you're on a whole food diet. As soon as you motherfucking cook something. Now this whole video is not about being passive aggressive. This is, this is like one-on-one -on -one conversation. Just being straight up fucking honest with you. As soon as you fucking cook something, man, it's no longer motherfucking whole. You've taken out water, you've taken out enzymes, nutrients, phytonutrients, all sorts of fucking magical crap stuff. Good stuff. You've taken it out. It's no longer whole. As soon as you cook something, put fire to it, it's no longer whole. It's corrupted, motherfuckers. Now, they, when I say corrupted, it's not a bad way, but it's not as much as, it's not whole anymore, what I'm trying to say. So if you're into Whole Foods, no one fucking eats a Whole Food diet. Everyone's like, I'm in a Whole Foods, Whole Foods. No, 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 no. 
Yo, you motherfuckers eating burgers? You eating motherfucking pizzas? All vegan, yeah? But you're eating vegan chocolate, you're doing cereals, you're doing sugar, and that's cool. But then you be this motherfucking whole food bullshit. I'll do it right, I'll oh, no, I just do whole foods. Motherfucker, you don't! You know what? No, you fucking don't do that shit. Whole foods my motherfucking ass!